Here is the Gary Gregg Meteorological Report for February 15th. It's a Wednesday. And today we have clear, calm skies with no wind whatsoever. And uh, we're going to take a look at how temperatures work here on nights like this, which are uh, common in the wintertime. And you can see I'm sitting right here up on this hilltop. And I guarantee you it's not 26 degrees out. Because so I have mango trees growing outside the window. But off these hills down in here, it's so cold. There's all these hills. This uh, road sort of goes down, follows the edge of the, of the uh, slope. And there's a creek that comes down through here. This is the low spot through Lafayette. And the creek sort of runs this way. So you can see the cold air follows the, the low spots and especially the creeks. And so we will examine, it's the deepest pocket valleys that are the coldest right now. You can see there's like there's a reading up here on this hill of 41. But down in this valley, it's 27. So that's a huge, oh, look at this. Downtown Arinda. This is a big low spot. Again, there's a creek down here, 24 degrees. Okay, a little higher up on the hill, 36. Look at that, 12 degree difference. So this shows the complexity of the Bay Area microclimate when it comes to uh, how these temperatures manifest themselves on nights like tonight or mornings like today. And let's take a look here. Another really cold pocket is Alamo. I have a friend that has a lot of tropical plants there and he has challenges. This is the Los Trumpas range and all the cold air drains off these hills into this flat valley where all these homes are. It's flat, flat, flat. It's like 39 degrees, a little bit up on the slope, but down in the valley floor, 28, 27, 28. So these are the things you think about when you know, you're buying these tropical plants or even when you're buying your property. Uh, let's, let's go see, uh, see Concord out here is also a low spot, but it's, it's, it's diffused air, meaning it's not concentrated because you can see there's no big topography dumping cold air into a narrow slot. You can see it is a little, little cold in Pleasant Hill. That's because the air is coming off of these hills out of uh, Lafayette. And you can see there's Brownies Peak, all this cold air is dumping this way. But by the time it gets down to Concord, it's really diffused. And so and we do have a 26 degree reading in here somewhere I just saw. But um, there it is, it's right there. But mainly it's in the 30s. Clayton, let's see how Clayton, Clayton strangely is, uh, I'm not sure why it's so warm. I noticed this a while ago, but look at that. It's, it's in the 40s. I don't understand that. Let's go out and look at uh, this is really a tropical, there's a big, man, a huge mango tree out here. And look at the temperatures out here, 44 degrees. And that is along the, uh, this, this water course here, the Delta River will keep this relatively warm all along the Antioch, Pittsburgh Bay Point frontage, even out into Oakley. Look at Oakley, 44. Uh, that is really warm compared to where I am right now. And uh, let's go up to the Central Valley a little bit and examine this. And so here's where the ranch is, where we also have a big mango tree growing. And I'm right up in here. And you can see it's, it's really warm there, 45 degrees. And that's because uh, this is sloped. These are mountains that dump cold air, but uh, they hit this slope and the, the cold air just keeps moving. And it moves out beyond Davis all the way out to the Central Valley where here are the low spots in the valley. And they're not as cold as the pocket valleys around the bay. They're farther from the ocean. So the ocean isn't able to keep it warm uh, compared to these pocket valleys out here. But uh, there's just no airflow in these pocket valleys. And so the bay doesn't really protect it. Let's check out the Richmond Nursery right now. 
and it looks like we are looking at uh, again 40s like a 46 right on the water over here the nursery is right here so it's gonna be a little bit colder probably 42 43 we still get frost there but uh, the frost the cold air dumps off these hills comes down and hits us here we're sort of in a low spot so we do get frost there and you can see because this is on a peninsula it's a little bit warmer than it would be here even though this is next to the bay and El Cerrito and Albany uh, another interesting microclimate is out here in Tiburon. They're surrounded by water. And you can see it's really warm, 47 degrees, you know, especially on this island, surrounded by water versus 42 here where there's water just on a couple sides. And it looks like there's a little island there. Oh, yeah, this is where the seaplane lands, and that's 46 because it's directly on the water. San Francisco is probably more like 48 Let's see how San Francisco is doing. Let's see here. Maybe Pacific is fairly warm. Yeah, 47 right on the bay side. <clears throat> and Santa Cruz is surprisingly cold, uh, even though it's right on the coast, because it faces south. We'll take a look at that, explain that microclimate. Um, and you can see here, we have 37 degrees in Santa Cruz. That's because the, the, the maritime air sort of moves in this direction and it sort of misses. This is a spot that it misses and there's cold air that dumps off these Santa Cruz mountains. You can see it's cold here, cold here, cold here, uh, much colder than you'd expect, even though it's right on the water. And let's see what else would be interesting. Let's look at the thermal belt of Lake Oroville where the Duke Avocado Grove is, which is an interesting anomaly. And that is way up here. Where is it? Right in here? Yeah. Where is it? Right here, right? Yeah, right there. Ooh. Ooh. It's 24 degrees here. Right where the Duke Grove is, is going to be 34, 24 right there. So it's called 27. So that Duke Avocado Grove is pretty chilly right now. It's hard to say exactly the temperatures in the grove. Uh, but let's go down and see what the Southern California coast is doing right now. How is LA doing? 43, 45 on the coast. It's not much warmer down there than it is here. 37 right in the basin there. 39 in Irvine. That's cold. So it's cold night. And we have in San Diego. Let's see how the bay is doing. And this is probably the most frost free subtropical place in all of California, I would I would argue. 46, 47, probably the warmest temperatures we've seen. Of course, San Francisco has the same temperatures in a couple spots right now. And uh, yeah, but it's an interesting night. We'll go out and look at the deserts. We'll look at where the the only the only mango commercial mango orchard is well not the only one but the largest one oh, look at that it's right out here see that it's out in the low desert 51 49 degrees so those are the warmest low temperatures so that makes a lot of sense of, as to why those plants are located where they are and then you have uh, uh, Indio Coachella where the music festival is and that's where all of uh, the primary region of the uh, California date industry, 51 degrees. So that's going to be your warmest temperature right now. Besides, that's Catalina Island right there. And of course, Catalina Island is surrounded by um, water that's 56 degrees, 57 degrees right now. So that's what keeps it relatively warm because it's surrounded in that, that warm ocean. And that's pretty much your weather 
second part of the day. All right, now you know a few things. Maybe you knew them all before.